Hi everybody, today I'd like to show you how the new soft rooted icons from the Nook Dev team firmware look like. I really like them. I mean, they look very nice and slick. It's like little glass tiles, a little bit, um, as you can see. Uh, it's very easy to arrange them the way you'd like to have it. If you'd like to change a position or add another icon or remove an icon, you simply hold down on an icon for a while and this menu opens up. Uh, as you can see, this, I this icon is a little bit highlighted, so if I use the arrow keys, as you can see, I can um, change the position of this icon, which is very easy. If it's in a position where I want to have it, it's fine, I go to the next icon. Um, if I'd like to remove an icon, I highlight it and tap on the trash can. If I'd like to add an icon, which is not in the list yet, I simply tap the plus sign and for example now select this one and here it is. And again, I can change the position of any icon, I can remove any icon I'd like to have removed from this list. If I'm done with arranging my icon, my menu structure, I simply tap it saved. So I can, you know, I can um, set up the, the menu the way I'd like to have it. I can switch the icons from one side to the other side. I can remove the icons I don't need. I can add icons I'd like to have and all this stuff. So this is really, really nice. Um, if I would like to see the regular menu from the Barnes & Noble shop, I simply tap on the Barnes & Noble sign and then I got all the icons, the regular icons from the Barnes & Noble menu. But I prefer the Nook Dev menu 